for the sake of the uh, ODM, we had already done the uh, audit planning. We as performance auditors were supposed to know the, uh, the way how we can go about in our planning. So, in the first instance, we are supposed to have an audit plan. The first stage is a, um, in the first name, maybe, or the full name, we can say it's the strategic audit planning. And in this plan, in this stage, we should be identifying all potential audit topics. Identify all audit topics in the first stage of the planning. And the second one is you have to prioritize the audit topics that you have uh, identified and you should base on the risk-based approach. How? If we talk of risk-based approach, which one has more risk than the other? So you base on the one that has got more risk than the other one. That's what they're meaning if they're saying prioritizing the only topics that you have identified. And then the third one, on the first stage, you are supposed to estimate the resources required. As auditors, mind you, you are partly an accountant and you are supposed to know how much uh, is going to be used as you are going to be uh, uh, doing your audit. And this should be known in your planning as you are planning the estimation of resources that you are going to require. And the last one in the first stage, you are supposed to document the audit plan. The plan is going to be supposed to be documented. Um, always when you document is when you are going to have reference. Because you are going to say, okay, this is what I did, and therefore I have to follow what I have documented. Then we have the second stage of our audit plan, which is the audit planning itself. And in the second stage, we have, um, we are supposed to develop an audit proposal. If we talk of a proposal, we are talking of the skeleton of the whole of the thing. As you are now in fourth year, you know what a proposal is. And they, therefore, uh, you are supposed to develop the proposal for your uh, audit plan. Develop uh, your audit program. You are supposed to have a program. How are you going to go about in the whole uh, essence of auditing. In your plan, you are supposed to state to say, this is the first stage, or this is how I'm going to do it up to this stage. So you are supposed to develop your audit plan or program, which is your audit plan or work plan. And then the third that you are uh, having on the second stage of your audit planning, you are supposed to communicate with the ODT Communication with the audit team, the one where you are going to be auditing. Mind you, us as internal auditors, it means you are supposed to communicate with the, uh, the office or the people that you are going to uh, audit. For example, maybe the boss of accounts, if you are going to audit from there, let's assume you are auditing, let's say, economy. As we already know, when we are talking about performance audit, we always talk about the four E's. That is the uh, economy, efficiency, uh, effectiveness, as well as environment. So it's one of them that you can be asked to go and audit. And in your communication with the one that you are going to audit, you are supposed to uh, indicate the scope of audit, the objective of your audit and the criteria that you are going to use in your uh, audit. And this is in your planning as you are yet to go for your audit.
Stage three, that's the audit execution. We have, uh, in the stage three, we have uh, the things that we're supposed to do is gather information. We're supposed to gather information. How? If we talk of gathering information, then you are supposed to say what are the things that I'm going to accumulate for me to have my audit. For example, you are supposed, let's say, um, to seek for things that you are going to inquire from the office that you're going to audit. Analyze that information that you've gathered so that you should know which ones to pick and which one to use or which one to leave. So that is again in your third uh, stage of your planning. And then you are supposed to prepare for your audit documentation. You're supposed to prepare for your audit or documentation. And then the last one on the third stage is develop findings and recommendations. You are supposed to develop the findings as well as the recommendations in your audit planning, just to think about what you expect in your findings and your recommendations of what you're going to be doing in your audits. And then we have the fourth stage, which is reporting. The fourth stage, which is reporting, prepare a draft audit report. You are supposed to prepare, document how you are going to be planning and so on, and then you write a report to your bosses that this is what I expect to go and do when I'm going to be auditing. Obtain the uh, auditee where you are going to audit, uh, their comments also have to be uh, reported in your uh, planning to your uh, bosses. And then address the comments. You are supposed to talk about the comments that you have been uh, uh, communicated by the ODT. And then again, you are supposed to conduct an internal quality assurance review. A conduct an internal quality assurance review. You are supposed to see, for example, if an organization has got the rules and regulations that you have now known as you are planning, then you are supposed to see whether these are really uh, the same or assured. You are supposed to certify them that they are the correct things really for you to go and use in your audit. Then you are supposed to report in your reporting to your bosses. Conduct an exit meeting or conference that you are supposed to do for your audit and then you issue a final report. So this is what you are supposed to do when you are planning for your audit and then uh, what you are supposed to do. And then you have the last stage which is a follow-up, a follow-up uh, uh, audit plan that is there, then you are supposed to have to obtain ODT collective actions, ODT collective actions, and then you are supposed to establish a follow-up plan that you are supposed to to do as well as assess progress of the recommendations and then report the follow-up activities according to what you have done. So this is how uh, uh, we do the planning of audit according to uh, the stages and which normally I do ask and you are supposed to explain to me that that is what it means. So this is the, what we can talk about when we are talking about the uh, process of audit planning. And not only that, um, because we had already learned here, but I wanted even the ODL uh, students to have an idea of the uh, stages 
of the uh, audit planning.